This is Marco with Tennis Pal, and this is the Tennis Minute. This week's Australian Open legend is Serena Williams, the queen of the Australian Open. She's got an impressive Australian Open haul with seven titles, one final, and four quarterfinals to her name in 19 appearances. She most famously won in 2017 while being a few weeks pregnant. Does that mean Little Olympia also has an Australian Open to her name? Most impressive about Serena's run at the Australian Open all these years is her dominance at the tournament for so long. Her winning form span spans 14 years and multiple generations of players. Let's take a look at Serena's top three Australian Open finals. 2003 Australian Open. Serena came in as the number one seed while Venus as the number two seed. It was almost a given that both sisters would meet in this final. This would be the fourth straight Grand Slam final they would meet in and the fifth Grand Slam final overall. This victory would also make it the fourth straight Grand Slam final win by Serena, thereby cementing her dominance in the rivalry with her sister. Nevertheless, this final had the distinction of being very competitive. It included one tiebreak, and it went to three sets. 2010 Australian Open Hennen was returning to the tour after an initial 16-month retirement. She was given a wild card while Serena was the number one seed. Hennen seemed to have picked up right where she left off 16 months prior, dispatching her side of the draw in clinical fashion. Serena had only been tested by Azarenka in the quarters, going to full three sets. The final would turn out to be a three-set affair, which would crown Serena with her fifth Australian Open. 2017 Australian Open. Serena would come in as the number two seed while sister Venus was the 13th seed. Venus was playing well and had returned to form, reaching the Wimbledon semis in 2019. There was good buzz about this match. Although Serena would win in straight sets, the match would be competitive and fun to watch. Unfortunately for Serena, this would be the last Grand Slam she would win. Like always, don't forget to jump on the Tennis Pal app to stay up to date on tennis news, find groups of friends to play with, and get a virtual coach to help with your tennis game.